Thanks for joining us on Kahari Free at Last, exclusively on Bounce 23 TV. Los Angeles Clippers owner Donald Sterling's statements against African Americans in an audio recording has caused the NBA commissioner to kick him out of the league, and he's trying to force him to sell the team. But Sterling never used the N-word. He just said he didn't want black people at his games. I mean, what's wrong with that? Joining me is TalkTainmentRadio.com host Irv Jallo, Reverend John Coates, and Danella Martin Braddix. <laughs> Damn it, I got that right. <laughs> what's wrong with that? Man, the man didn't use the N-word. He never said nothing like those so-and-so. He just said, I just don't want black people at my games. Well, because the American public has been programmed so much, I must give my disclaimer now <laughs> that I am not an apologist for any racist at all but I believe we have just experienced the beginning of the death of free speech in America. Oh, how? Mr. Sterling made those statements in private. So? And he was recorded, did not know he that he was He should not have made them at all. What, what, what statements? He, he should have, not. He He's not, making money he, off he, of black folks. Allowed, Why should he make that statement? Is he allowed statement? to have an opinion? Hey. about anything. That means that he can't, you can't privately speak about any situation, any person in your home without threat of being blasted by the media or being recorded secretly and then having that experience. Donella, do you hear what he's saying? He's defending Mr. Sterling. How dare he do that? <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, Mr. Sure. Sterling thought he was having a private conversation. And that's thing, how many of us oh, have you had too? these types of oh, conversations oh, oh, to goodness. have our words, you know, implicate us and, and destroy us? I mean, I think we're all vulnerable here. Uh, Irv Jello, jump in here. Stop <laughs> sitting back trying to look cute. Get in here. I think the man... It didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> you are, though. That's what you Stop. I think that the man, uh... The man was, he was bamboozled and led astray. He was just trying to get a little something from the woman, and I think that she, she coerced him into saying those things. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, hold on here. Oh. Wait a minute, this man said he don't want black folk at his games. I believe. He don't want Magic Johnson. He, and Magic Johnson, the great icon. Oh, whatever. He don't want <laughs> what his alleged girlfriend happened to show up with? Oh, yeah. So how much of it is, you know, you just, you showed up at my games with a, with a, with a, with a man, with yeah. another man, yeah. versus some Something else. Well, I, I think it was just a photograph. She was took a photograph, a photograph on Instagram. Of him. That she, got around. She, she did well, not got know around. Him. It was a photograph that got around, and then Mr. Sterling stated, by the way, I, I'm trying to get used to this name Sterling. His name is Tokowitz. Right. His name is Donald Tokowitz. Say <laughs> what? His yeah, name is. is Donald Tokowitz. Well, how did it become he Sterling? Ch he changed oh. his name to Sterling. Okay? Him better. He oh. changed his name to Sterling. So, you know, so he 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 received phone calls from his friends. But now, now let me ask you. Something. Is this no, no. another controversy involving, like, uh, when Andrew Young did the UN thing, is this another controversy potentially involving relations between Jews and black folk? Is this where we're heading well, down this road well, first with this? of all, there has always been a relationship between black people and Jews, okay? Unfortunately, it has not been a balanced or fair relationship. Why not? Well, because there's always been a master-slave type relationship. Oh, I don't believe you said you know, that. I want to jump I thought you in. said there were certain things you couldn't say on TV. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, well, well, okay, well, now I have to make the no, yeah. Okay, Our, the black community has been a community that's been uh, uh, like a mammy. A breast that's filled with milk that feed others, the others to full nourishment. The Jewish community, though discriminated by the rest of Anglo-Saxons in America, established their businesses primarily within the black community. And then after them, others came along, like the Koreans or what have you. So we have a relationship. We were the talent. They were the management. So everybody, so what he's saying is that everybody has used us. The is thing that about true? it is this... No, wait a minute. Once they left, the Koreans came mm -hmm. in, the Middle Easterners mm -hmm. came in. Everybody uses us. But why are we so surprised? Why are we so surprised that an 80 plus white, you know, Jewish male who employs black people, why are we surprised that he doesn't like black folks? Well, why do know, we get our feelings hurt when we are reminded that people don't like black people? Because we are told be like everybody that. loves everybody. Wait a minute, as a matter that's of fact, not, he said, I true. love black people. He you said know, he loves black people. He said black people, people. But in you know, now it's, you know, something, Pastor Coach, you said something a while ago that was pretty astute. What you call him, Pastor Coach? Yes, Pastor Coach. 
Coast, racist. the good reverend, <laughs> talking about how after Obama's election, you know, black people were like, yes, black this, black economic power, this and that, and then we went back to sleep. And these things happen. We get our black person wake up call that, wow, the world doesn't really like us, do they? And then we go back to sleep. Mr. Stewart, I'm going to go to something that Outrage. he had said earlier. What? And, 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 and get to it. You talked about, you know, being recorded. My thing is this. If Sterling, if Sterling knew more about the black culture, I think his words would have probably gone more like this. Um, don't be on Instagram acting ratchet. That's what he could not articulate. Mr. Sterling, Donald Sterling likes and loves black people yeah. like a horse race owner owner yeah. loves their prize oh, two and that, three year old oh, that's horse. so terrible. Like How do you know yeah, that's when you with are him. a racist? Up next on Kahari, Free at Last. Welcome back to Kahari, Free at Last. Nevada rancher Cliven Bundy said black people abort their young children, put their young men in jail, and he asked the question, are black people better off as slaves Woo! Than under a government subsidy. Were his remarks okay? Or is this hardcore racism rearing his ugly head once again? Joining me is TalkTainmentRadio.com host, Earth Jallo, Reverend John Coates, and Donella Martin Braddox. Uh, let me help me to understand now, now Cliven, old Cliven, the Nevada rancher, <laughs> he was just had a, a chew to pick. Or pick the chew. Okay. One of them two, anyway. So he would just say, I just want to tell you one more thing. A uh, young man, look, I was, I was observing those black folks, and all they do is walk around there and have nothing for their little girls to do. And one day, why he said little girl, right, we, yeah. we ain't touching that. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> I don't know what he meant by to do. Right. But anyway, he was, he was pretty observant of that. And he said, are black folks better off as slaves? <laughs> huh? Well, I've heard well, it Was that a I, racist I, I, yeah, remark? Oh, I believe so. You know, but then I'm careful as to what I label as racism. Mr. Bundy Suppose is prejudiced. Suppose a black man would have said that. Mr. If a black Mr. man would have, wait a minute, if a black man would have said it, it would have been a racist remark. And no. beyond, again, how do we, how, I don't believe many black people can be racist. They can't. Okay? I believe that we can be prejudiced, we can be yes. bigoted, yes. or what have you, just as Mr. Um, Bundy can be mm. prejudiced, he can be bigoted, but racism is, is a special category. That wasn't a racist Race, remark? No. no. Racism no. is a, no, it's not racism. Listen, ra racism is a special category. Racism is prejudice plus power. Yes. You so have lost you have, your no, mind. No, no. Racism no. is prejudice plus Wait a minute, hold power. on a bit. Donella. This man said, are black folks better off in slavery, picking cotton? At least they would have a wonderful house. Wait a minute. <laughs> and then this man says it wasn't racist. Was that racist? I think it was racist, and, but, but I'm glad he said it. Why? Because once again, we need our wake-up calls. You know, we are bombarded with black images, you know, in hip-hop, in the media. We've got all of these reality shows where we're seeing black people, and we have been put asleep. We have been, you know, catonized. We're like, yes, we've made it. We and then suddenly, someone else comes along and embarrasses us and forces us to look at the situations that we're living in, and it makes us take stock. Hey, wait a minute. Are we really better off? Well, first what of all, we Earth Jello, was he correct in what he said? I was going to say, it was, first of all, again, it was his personal opinion, and was there any validity to it? Was there? Yes, it was. Oh! Hey. How? It was. How? Do we, how white, we, wait a minute. White folks do the same thing. Okay, Koreans we're do about the us. same. We're talking wait about us. Latinos do. He, he talking about us, though. How does that make that valid? Okay, let me tell you how it makes it valid. How many black babies have been, 13 million babies have been aborted? aborted? Okay, 13 black million Black folks didn't abort black those babies. babies. Who, black who folks don't control those clinics. Okay, but black we folks control ourselves. We made the decisions to walk Black folks don't control the medicine. Black folks don't produce the Products that yeah. kill babies. Yeah. We don't and black guns. folks we not produce, we don't things. produce guns, but we shoot them. Come we don't on. produce jeans <laughs> that hang off the back of our behinds, but, but yet we, we wear them. Hang. So yeah, we do make decisions. So, so yeah, yeah, we do. Nobody told us to get pregnant out of wedlock. With, unprepared and then walk into the clinic. I that can't is, believe. I can't believe with all of yes. that Afrocentricity, okay. you keep are defending Cleveland Bundy. I I'm not yes. defending him, but keep it 100. Right. John, the right. man made a racist statement. The man, made a, you you defend the man made a bigoted, bigoted statement. statement. <laughs> because when I, at the end of the day, I have to look and say, does Mr. Bundy have any influence or any Absolutely. power to affect my life? Nope. And no, he does not. And no, that's why I don't get bent out of shape about that bigot named Bundy or a bigot. 
bigot named Sterling because they have no impact on my life. However, what makes Mr. Bundy different from Sterling is that Sterling has people on his plantation who he's playing So does he. He has people on the ranch that he's abusing. He's been doing a whole lot of stuff. He's got employees. But wait a minute, help me to understand this. This man made as hardcore of a racist statement as I've ever heard. But the thing he is, said, are black folks better off in slavery, picking cotton? He asked a question. I mean, wait a minute. That's not a question. That's a statement. We cannot, we cannot take away... Remember, this is America, and it is a capitalistic society. He is we an, wait, wait a minute. Hold on for me. He is anti-government. He made a statement that said black folks were better off in slavery and picking cotton, and y'all defending that. Racist. A, racist. A, racist. a racist has the right to have their own corporation. A racist has the right to employ people that they personally like or personally don't like. He has rights. That's not what we should be arguing about. What we should be arguing about is why are we embarrassed in the first place? Why are we outraged in the first place? Are there any issues that are real, that are affecting our community that we need to look at? Like the cutting of college funding is yes. that racist? Making loans more difficult to go to school? Is that a racist act? That's a Those racist act. Those are the racist systemic things that we should be of concerned about. Of course it's a racist act. But Anybody that, anytime you target any population based on race, it's a racist act. And Mr. B and Bundy is saying you, me, Donella, and Earp are better off well, in who, slavery my, than we are under government's opinion. That's, 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 that's racist. That's his opinion. That's his opinion. It's, right it's a racist opinion. 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 You don't think it's a racist opinion. opinion? I believe it's bigoted. Is it a racist? Well, is it a bigoted define opinion? Race, define again, bigoted. Define again, racism. Bigot What's the difference? Pre again, racism is, is, is prejudice power. plus power. He has no power over our he lives. He does have so we're power. We're discussing him nationally, but yet he has no power. We should be discussing what the government is doing in our community. This is a we man, be, wait a minute, you say he has no, he says you say he has no power? This is a man that stood down the U.S. military, and you tell me he has no power? In his community. It doesn't matter. He got power. And his statements went all over the world. And you tell me, and you gonna sit up in defend okay. this that guy? Okay, that raises another question. I'm not defending that... him. I'm not upset about it because that's his opinion, and that's what he can. That... I want to keep my opinion. I do not want it to get to the point where we are un we are censored for personal opinions. That is what I don't want to do. But you're so wise, Kahari and Naharo. You just stated that his his statement was broadcast. I am, I am yes, wise. you are. You are. About time you, are. you came why, to that why, understanding. But why was his statement broadcast throughout the world? Good question. Because that's a mess. Message. The media wanted that message to get out Why? throughout the world Why? because they found validity in it. Yeah. Ah, yes. So it was racist. Yes. It was the president. It was of, racist. It was the president of the United States, Barack Hussein Obama, when he was running for office, stood in a PAW church, that's a Pentecostal Sunnis of the World Church in Chicago, Illinois, and lectured black men on black manhood. Mm -hmm. That's not racist. How's that racist? Because I lecture so you racist, on black men. But, but I'm trying to tell you how made, to... Wait a minute, hold on. He's trying to tell you like Booker T. Washington told you. He said, cast down your buckets. And that's uh, all Barack Mr. Obama Mr. was doing. Mr. Mr. Obama's message at Arthur Brazier's church in Chicago was not a message of entrepreneurialism. No. It was, it, was a, it was a message about black male responsibility. It was a message about people developing peoplehood. And that's Am a I beautiful right? thing. Now, what's that got to do with Bundy? How does he... He trying to... He <laughs> Trying to put them together. <laughs> that ain't gonna work. What's that got to do? And you defend. I'm I shaming you. I did not defend I am, Bundy. I am defending the right to have a personal opinion. Because if we keep it up, and if Sterling can't have his personal opinion, pretty soon it's gonna trickle down, and we're all gonna be. So it's all right for Sterling opinion. to make racist remarks. You know what? Is I that what you're telling me? He, I don't think it was. He didn't use the N word. Why are we so sensitive? We're not sensitive about the fact that we have such a high murder rate, and our young boys are being buried in cemeteries across the country. Yes, we are. We're not sensitive. I tell about you. What, stay right there, stay right there. Whatever happened to the idea of freedom of speech, especially in your own home? Up next on Kahari, Free at Last. Welcome back to Kahari, Free at Last. Would I be a racist if I said I didn't trust her like the Chinese in Africa? or the Chinese buying up the city of Detroit, or I didn't like Koreans controlling the nails and hair market in the black community. How far does the limitation go on what, you know, on what I can say? Whatever happened to the idea of free speech, especially in your own home? Mm. Joining me is TalkTamerRadio.com host, Earth Jallo. 
the Reverend John Coates and Donella Martin Braddox. I <laughs> got it right. See, <laughs> yes, I told you. Did. Thanks for putting that S on there. There ain't no S, but, it, but the X. <laughs> uh, anyway, anyway, um, wait a minute. Now, some people say the Chinese moving into Detroit so. and taking over Detroit. The same thing they did in Africa, taking over Africa. Suppose I said I didn't like that. Does that make me a racist? No, it doesn't. Does that make Spike Lee a racist? Does it, I, I happen to hear when that. When Spike Lee the, talked about the white folks coming no, back into no, Harlem? No, no, not just white folks. His, his movies have implied that Koreans are racist. His movie has, has implied a lot of things. Be, but, but, what, but, well, but, am but, I a racist but, but because I don't like and that? I, I don't believe so. No. But I don't believe so. Because, number one, the proof's always in the pudding. You can investigate and see where, 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 where the truth lies. But well, wait a minute. Black, folk, black folk can't move in China and buy up China. They can't move. I don't see none going over in China, buying up thousands of acres of land, creating a black city us, in China. Don't see us going Do you in, see that? I don't even see us going into Chinatown and buying a, <laughs> buying a block. We're not organized enough China. to do that. So, so Donella, would I be right. racist if I say I don't want the Japanese coming in here, buying up the auto industry, controlling uh, the black economy? I don't want the Middle Easterners in here buying up every store in the black... Is that racist? Well, let's be honest. Everything, in essence, is racist. How? We live within a world, an entire world, world where people's destinies are determined by the color of their skin. So Okay, that's can, a nice prologue, but you still ain't well, answered so the question. It, it is I, racist. Is that the right word? Yes. Oh, okay. The that's thing right. about it is, and I, look, and I enjoyed it. It was quite eloquent, if I do say so <laughs> no, myself. It was Thank you. Yeah. Answer the, the thing question. about it is, everything is racist. Of course it is. So to sit up and debate, is that racist? Is that racist? I don't care about is the true, label, Donella? but I care about... I mean, is that true, No, you know, no that's justice. not. That's not true. Let me clear... Let Everything me, is not let racist. Me, let me clear up some You have... Clear, clear it up. Clear it up. I'm gonna clear this up. Clear it up. First of all, black people cannot be racist. Says we, who? I, wait a minute. Says who? Get, wait a minute. Hold Document on. that. I'm about to. Yes. Hold on. Mm -hmm. We cannot be racist because we don't own anything. We don't have the power to do that, nor do we have the funds to hold another group or race of people That's what Donella, down. Donella did. I don't care Donella what she's says no. She says everybody can be racist. Black, Black people cannot be a racist. Is that but true, Donella? My point was this. My point is this. We live in a racist world where your destiny is determined by the color of your skin. So it doesn't matter who is practicing the racism. You live within the racist confines. Can black people be racist? You know, okay. Can black you know people, what? yes or no? People say, if you use it as Pastor Coe's definition that r being racist means being biased with power, then no, because black people ain't got wait, no power. Wait a minute, you just said but everybody's racist. Make up your because mind. Because your, your destiny is determined by the color of your skin. Let's look at it. I don't think that's it. right either. Of course it is. She's all over the let's map, Reverend Coe. Yeah, no, 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 I don't, well, I don't understand well, what she's well, saying. In America, that it. certainly may be true. All over well, the well, world. In America, that may be true, but it depends on what color you are. The world I know when you go all over the world, especially if you go to the Caribbean, you can really see it. It's just like, wow, if you're black, you're going to remain poor, you're going to remain... Now, you know what? I thought, that's I thought you, I thought you believed that Martin Luther King, that one day you might be judged <laughs> by the color of your skin and not by the content of your character. Yeah, that's pretty good, John. It was a dream. It was a dream. That hasn't come true yet. But Earth, she is saying black... Well, she skipped around. I'm going to ask you again, can black people be racist, yes or no? You know what? I don't care if black people can be racist. I think we're arguing over semantics, and I hate that argument. Oh, it annoys me. We're because arguing. people say, oh, yeah, you can't be racist. Did you, you, know she, did you know that she didn't, know did you know that she didn't answer the question? And she still didn't answer it. Still didn't answer the question. We know what she's I would hope that Dr. Braddock would, would one doctor. day rely, <laughs> rely on the wisdom of an earth jallow. You know, she tries to show her the way. <laughs> I, just <don't, laughs> I just don't understand why she... Earth jallow, yes. she is just doing nothing but petty fogging, Junkster positioning, <laughs> you like all you that. Can, you can get your answer for the pastor or Mrs. Jello. I'm think, firm in what I believe. I but do, I don't know I, what you I believe. Also do My not point believe, is this. No, I also don't believe that your destiny is determined by the color of your skin. Of there course are, it is. There's, there, no, it depends. Why are the, why it, the prisons filled with it, black people? Because they've made the wrong choice in a lot of situations. So, in a lot of situations, so, they got caught up. So However, the thing about it is our choices and our options have nothing to do with our race, really? There's a lot of people. No, that's not what you said. And uh, there's a that, lot of people point, who have who have overcome and, and have overcome the situation of their environment. So I can't say so, that just because you black, you never gonna make it or get so out of the no hood. That's ridiculous. Thing, so there's no such thing as institutionalized race, racism. I didn't say that. We, that's okay, what we're so talking that's about. Racism is such an institution, we don't even recognize it. That's why we get hurt when this old 80-something-year-old no, no, white man says, don't bring black people to my game. We know it's in healthcare. We know it's in 
our job, on our job. We, we know all of this. We don't even really know it because we still get our feelings hurt when someone brings it up. And we don't even know she it. Just, she, it. She, she just hit a point. What we point do, was that? It's that the masses of our people have been programmed to get the feelings hurt yes. because some old white man makes a statement to... So his, how should his, we his, have reacted to that? We should have, we should have evaluated it. We should, what we should have done was take a look at professional sports Mm -hmm. and look at, say, okay, there's 30 NBA franchises, 29 in the United States, one in Canada, mm -hmm. okay? We should have looked at it and say, well, okay, how many black owners out of the 30, 30 mm -hmm. are there, you know? How many, how many black, black people make the, how how many many black black people make the hardwood floors? Yeah. How many black people manufacture the basketball, the, yes. the seats, the scoreboards? Mm -hmm. even all black the, coaches? Yeah. All, of the, all of the industry the relationships, the economics of it. Economics yeah. of it. So and, and, it and it's almost insulting to hear the Sterlings, my Papa Sterling and Mama Sterling <laughs> speak up how the players hug them and kiss them oh. when they see Mr. them, like Tokowitz. like little like the Tokowitz, <laughs> just like their little like their little children. That's how the slave masters would speak about their slaves as they were little so children. So you do agree that this was racism on the part of Sterling? I said, I said bigotry. Oh no, yeah, 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 bigotry. I ain't never heard of no people called bigots, but I've heard <laughs> of people called racists. What's the difference? You still well, have to explain. You I, and I, I, I did, I'm no, telling you, no, y'all be walking I did, the boardwalk. I Stay did right there. Is this for? Busting all over again. Up next on Kahari, free at last. Welcome back to Kahari, free at last. Has this love everybody thing, this racial diversity game, gone way too far? Are we being forced to integrate like we were doing forced busing? Is it racist for a black person not to want to be around a white person or a white person not to want to be around a black person? Is that racist? Joining me is TalkTainmentRadio.com host, Irv Jallo, Reverend John Coates, and Danella Martin Braddix. Wait a minute. We are being forced. This racial diversity, this multicultural, this stuff is going too far. Now, if you have an opinion against the Chinese or, or somebody white or somebody black, you automatically are racist. <laughs> Wait a minute, now are we being forced into this racial diversity stuff, this multiculturalism, this melting pot? What's going on here? I know I woke up um, on Mother's Day and I watched a, um, a, a big burly um, uh, football player kissing a man in the mouth. Okay, and then, I watched it, and, then, and, then, and, then, and then I watched it over and over again. I must have, I have to believe you felt that, like it was that, being jammed yeah, down yes, your that's throat? being jammed down my throat. I think there's many things that the media in particular is jamming down the throats of the American people. And you use the analogy of busing. Busing was jammed down, jammed the, throat. down the throat. Look at what happened at Boston. You know, history research, uh, um, um, serves our research and tells us plainly. And all research now shows that desegregation, oh, the when they yeah. push for it, now you got segregation all over oh, again. Certainly. I mean, all the, so it didn't work. It didn't work. So why are people being forced to accept this I, stuff, I Earth? totally agree with you because, like you just said, when, I, when you were in the schools and you go into the schools at lunchtime, you got the white kids at one table and the black kids at another it table. It still happens. There's no, yeah, there's no integration. And you're in the school of, right and now. And I'm in the school right now today in 2014. And, and you still see it. On. Still see it. And communities where we live in America are still, and I don't care if you're talking about even brand new subdivisions, mm -hmm. they're still predominantly black or white yep. or Hispanic. And when one race starts to move in, the other, other race starts to move out. out. Yes, right. They move out. So why are we being forced into this stuff? Danella, what's this agenda? Well, I think the agenda is just screwed up. Once Everything is about economics. And the thing is, we have this vision of having a truly integrated society, but as long Whose as you have... Whose vision is it? Well, the thing about it is as long as you have an underclass of people who are poor and who don't have access to the same, you know, opportunities as other people, they're not going to want those people around. So we have to stop thinking, you know, stop being the mesmerized The only group that by... diversity works for is the 1%. The 99% are still catching you know what. Right, and so day we've in got and to stop being work. mesmerized and, and, and intoxicated, you know, by that word diversity, inclusion, integration. We've got to stop looking at that as being some mecca and start realizing that true equality means true economic equality. Mm -hmm. And that's something that the United States has so, never been interested in. John, we should not have overreacted to Bundy 
or sterling. That's is right. that what you're saying? I am exactly. And we should watch for before the next example that's mm -hmm. given to us, because this isn't the last one. Somebody else is going to come along. Oh, real quick. And, and, and we ought to watch what our reaction mm -hmm. is to that. Don't get excited. Stay steady. Stay steady. Do not explode and over don't, this. And expect this to be there oh, and expect certainly. this game to be run. Yeah. So you're saying keep it calm, keep it cool. Keep it cool. You agree with that, Earth? I do. I do. And I, and I do believe, like Don You said, said I do too many times. Oh, I'm sorry. When, you, when, you, when you're trying to get married all over again. <laughs> okay. I can do it right here. <laughs> right here, right here. <laughs> That's how you got the <laughs> But I, I do believe what Donella said, and we, we shouldn't get excited. Uh, John, you're right. We shouldn't be upset. These things happen every day. We know what it is, that nothing's changed. Why do we think that we've arrived all of a sudden because we have a black, you know, ch uh, chief in charge? That's not the case. We think we've arrived you know? because we're watching Real Housewives of oh, Atlanta. Girl. We're watching Love and Hip Hop. That's, we're that's watching, you know, BET and all of this. And we see black people and we think, wow, everything's equal. And we, we see them in commercials. Look, yeah. No, wow, them black people on TV acting crazy. Oh, black that's people have see. money. Yeah. Wow, you know, a couple of people, they throw a couple of these basketball players, Thank millions. you so much. Thanks to TalkTainmentRadio.com host Earth Jallo, Reverend John Coates, and Danella Martin Braddocks. And thank you for watching Kahari, free at last.